Okay, what I got here is stuffed jalapeno poppers, and then we're gonna do some drumsticks, uh, baste them with a little barbecue sauce, smoke them on the egg, have ourselves some jalapeno poppers and drumsticks. The jalapeno poppers, they're super easy. You just hack off one side, scoop them out. I actually use a melon baller. Uh, that works pretty well, believe it or not, um, for getting the seeds and membrane out. See all of them there. And then you can turn around, chop those up, throw them in something else. Uh, barbecue sauce, give it a little heat. And I think to make, I think there's like 21 here, and I just used a cup of cream cheese, and then eight ounces of shredded Monterey Jack. And then um, I just actually used some sausage links and chopped, chopped those up and threw those in there with some red onion. A little bit of smoked paprika, gives a little color, a little smokiness. And then just salt and pepper. Stuff them. So next, uh, the drumsticks. We're really just going to salt and pepper these and uh, put a little olive oil on them. Okay. I got the, our egg going here. Our electric starter ready to go. Wait about 10 minutes to get these coals going. To make sure we're wide open down here. After 10 minutes, ought to be good and hot. Pull that sucker out, throw our grill on. Alright, here we are about 10 minutes in. Nice and hot. I'm actually go ahead and pull this out. Give it a little stir. Alright, now we're up to about 375, since I like to do chicken on the grill most of the time. Now I'll put in some apple wood. I like to put it around the outside, and it helps smolder a little bit on the outside like that. grill in, get the grill nice and hot, and then we'll throw our chicken on. Alright, we're sitting right at about 400, just about right. We've got our chicken legs, just a little salt pepper, it's actually a, a smoked salt, and some olive oil, nothing too crazy. We're going to baste them with barbecue sauce here in a little bit. We're ready to throw these guys on. Now you want to space these guys out, leave enough room between them, that way they cook evenly, and we are smoking, just our top, bottom draft, just about right. That ought to hold 375. Look at that, this is about 10 minutes in. These guys are looking great. Alright. About another 10 minutes gone by here. I like to flip these about every 10 minutes or so. Looking real good. Nice and smoky. That's what we're looking for. Sitting about 175 on that big one. I just want to check your bigger legs. They're going to be the ones that take the longest. Oh. And in there, towards the bone. 
around about 170. I'm going to get those to about 180. I'm going to put this fire out real quick. Closed. Put our fire out. Okay. Oh man. I wish you could smell this. Alright. One more time. Place those puppies up. All right, let those go for a little bit, caramelize that sauce, check our temp one more time and I think we'll be done. Now what I'm gonna do here is actually open this up all the way, bottom draft, and our top draft. That's gonna get our fire going real good and it's gonna help crisp up that skin and caramelize that barbecue sauce right before we pull them off. I got our poppers here ready to go in right after we pull the chicken off. I like to do those last because we're going to let our chicken rest. And while the chicken rests, we can cook the, the poppers. They won't take long at all. All right. Our big leg here looks like it's about 170, still climbing a little bit. And it will actually continue to cook a little bit uh, while we let it rest. So... We're going to call these good to go. Look at that. All right. Let's load these babies up. That one we'll give to the dogs. <laughs> Peppers up. Before I do this, I'm actually gonna close our draft door almost all the way closed because we don't want these to burn. The fire's already pretty hot. Let's go ahead and throw these on. Actually, what I'm gonna do is turn these along the grid. That'll actually help them stand up a little better. Okay. Get the last of our poppers on here. He doesn't fall over. All right, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this again. I'm gonna put out our fire. I'm actually gonna smoke in there for just a little bit. I'm gonna get some smoke flavor on it. I'm gonna pull the top off and let them finish cooking. All right, been a couple minutes. I'm gonna open this up. Now we're going to cook the bottoms of these peppers. Now I like to leave it uncovered, that way we don't cook this cheese all the way through and have it be like a soup. I had that happen while the cheese cooks out down into the grill. And we lose all the goodness. This way we'll just char the bottoms of these. It's really all we're looking to do. So we'll leave them on for a couple more minutes. Okay. Look at these, get that nice char on the bottom. That's what we're looking for. These are ready to go. You see them kind of 
bubbling like that. That's when I like to pull them. You don't want to overcook the pepper. You don't want mush for a pepper. I'll tell you that. Look at this guy. Hang on for dear life. All right. We are good to go. Make sure our top's closed. Bottom draft. Time to eat. 